And back here at home, we are having a quiet night tonight here in Kentuckyana, but that of course comes after strong storms swept through our area yesterday. Let's head right over now to meteorologist Matt Rudkin and Matt, you are thankfully tracking a dry next few days ahead after multiple confirmed tornadoes touched down yesterday. Yeah, isn't that great news? We get a little bit of a break here, which I think everybody is okay with, and a beautiful stretch is on the way as well. So I know yesterday was rough. A lot of you don't have power, and I know the crews are working very, very hard. Um, it will get better, which get the power on. At least the weather's going to cooperate. We're not talking dangerous heat or anything like that, although it starts to get pretty muggy. I, I know when you don't have any of the air movement from fans or air conditioning. Look at the, the May rainfall here. We're just shy of six inches. Uh, that's about 35-ish percent, something like that. That uh, above normal for for this time of the year, so pretty remarkable. That's that's uh, starting to get up there. We we could use a couple of dry days as any of the farmers, uh, although the crops I know love it. Too much of a good thing uh, can sometimes not be great. So we could use a couple of dry days, and we have it coming. 82 today, 64, really close to the average temperatures for the Louisville area as we push into the next couple of days here. The theme is going to be just really, really nice. I got kind of excited and put a bunch of exclamation marks there. So we deserve it. It's going to be beautiful. Lots of sunshine temperatures in the 70s. I mean, just picture perfect spring weather here. Uh, lows in the 50s, a little cooler outside of Metro Louisville. As we run into the uh, allergies, the good thing is with the rain, it keeps them kind of in check. Notice uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, we'll go with medium. If you've got allergies with grass or, or um, some of the trees out there, you may have uh, some issues, but certainly nothing compared to what we often see. Here's a look at Max HD radar. The closest rain is now east of 75, so pushing way away from us here in uh, our part of Kentucky and in Indiana. Notice these rain showers pushing through Champaign. Notice they're weakening as expected, so I don't think much, if any of that, even makes it to our southern Indiana communities. High pressure in control the next few days. That is sinking air when you get that and eliminates cloud cover, certainly eliminates precipitation. So we don't have to worry about that. It'll also give us some cooler air. See up to our north and west, the 50s and 60s right now. That's coming down towards our part of Indiana and Kentucky. This evening, though, pretty refreshing. Again, uh, I know it really stinks to be without power if you got some friends and family without. The good news here is we're not talking terrible uh, temperatures, which we can get, you know, in July and August. So this isn't too bad. Temperatures in the 60s already out there. Uh, overnight lows fall into the 50s and lower 60s across southern Indiana and our part of Kentucky with mostly clear skies. Notice overnight tonight we're quiet. Here's tomorrow. Temperatures already in the mid 60s. By the afternoon, we should get into the 70s. Again, lots of sunshine, a beautiful, beautiful day. That trend continues through the evening and overnight. Notice we're nice and quiet when you're joining us on the night team tomorrow, looking pretty good. Temperatures in the 70s, we're back into the 50s tomorrow night, so some natural air conditioning. And Wednesday, looking pretty good as well. Much deserved quiet weather heading our way. Tonight, we fall into the lower 60s, away from Metro Louisville, probably gonna get to the upper 50s for your day tomorrow. Temperatures in the 70s, lots of sunshine, the wind isn't gonna be whipping around. So, I mean, this is just phenomenal weather. I wish we didn't have a lot of storm cleanup, and power outages to deal with, but at least if we do, we've got these kind of conditions looking really, really good. Beautiful for the rest of the week, watching some slight, slight rain chances for this weekend. It's a big one here at WHAS 11. We'll keep you updated as we get closer. Alex.